So this is our friend Blackie. He's from uh, this island actually here in Indonesia. Yeah. And he doesn't know it yet, but he speaks Bisaya, the Filipino language Bisaya. Yeah. Lima. It's five. Woo! Woo! Ako. Me. Yeah. Anak. Anak. Yeah. Delicious. No, anak. Anak. Nabi, mana siya magbisaya? Mamutag, mga best mga ba? Mamutag sa nitoran? Karon, nami diri sa Bali, Indonesia. We're doing a quick trip here in Bali because in a few weeks we will visit Zoe's family in Australia and yeah, it's so close. It is very near. It's our first time in Bali. Um, and we are specifically in Nusa Chittingan um, with a local. Ayo, this Me is our friend. Blackie. Blackie. Yeah, and we My are... name is Blackie. <laughs> <laughs> why? why? Why is your name Blackie? Cuz my skin. <laughs> So, Ako. Ako. Me, I'm Whitey. Oh, yo. Kutut, Kutut Whitey. Kutut Whitey. Kutut Whitey. So, this is our friend Blackie. He's from uh, this island actually here in Indonesia. Yeah. And he doesn't know it yet, but he speaks Bisaya, the Filipino language Bisaya. Yeah. Did yeah. you know that? Bisaya. You speak Filipino? <laughs> Bisaya? Bisaya. Yeah, yes, Bisaya. Bisaya. He doesn't know it yet, but later we're going to show you how much he actually knows. He's going to be surprised and you'll also be surprised. And I'm going to know his blade. Nah, nah I know these ones. <laughs> but um, we actually have to jump off the cliffs really soon because it's going to low tide. So before we break our legs, let's go jump off some cliffs. Let's go. Ta da! All right, so behind me is the 10 meter. We're gonna see if they survive this jump. Oh, there we go. Success, all right. Now it's my turn. You jumping, Blackie? I think nah. Nah? I'm. You jumping? Wait, wait, boom! You jumping? Oh, me? No, but this little girl is. Woo! Woo! We good. We're gravy, baby. Wait, wait, wait! I feel like you shouldn't do that. I don't know. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> So Carson has just finished jumping and uh, Nelly, is it our turn next? Hello. Um, I don't think so. No, oh, no, that's a I no from me. <laughs> so we'll just keep watching the teenagers show us up. We're the cheerleaders. Yeah. <laughs> Go Carson. <laughs> Babes, did you make it? Huh? You've survived? Sure. Solid. Oh, no. Okay guys, so we have just finished up having lunch at Maha... What is it called? Mahana Point? Mahana Point. We've just finished up having lunch at <laughs> Mahana Point. Um, it was delicious and now we are at Blue Lagoon. I don't know. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, it's named like this because it's blue and it's a lagoon and it is very beautiful. Uh, we're going to fly the drone and show you that now. Now we're back where it started You say you're sorry so we forget about it Simple as that So pray sa akong gisulti gani ha na mo ni si Blackie na karon di siya kabalo magbisaya di ba you don't understand me nah. <laughs> so pag ako sa subagon pag hibalo sa dayon og binisaya all right found it all right so i'm going to say a few words in bisaya and because we pounded it you're going to know the word now bisaya yeah, yeah so you will know. so i'm going to say a word and then you say the english version okay yeah okay ako ako What's that? What, what does it mean for you, Ako? Ako? Me. Yeah. Wow, magic! All right, let's get a little harder. Okay. Lima. It's five. Ooh! Drop me. Atikayo. All right, a little harder. Sakit. Sick. Sick? Yeah. Wow. You know, Bisaya. Wow, you're. Bisaya. Yeah, All right, what, let's do another word. Interesting. Anak. 
Delicious. No, anak. <laughs> anak. No, anak. Anak. Oh, anak. Kid. 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 Baby. Yes. Not a delicious. In, Not. Anak is delicious, but in <laughs> Indonesian bahasa. Um, one more, one more. That's a hard one. No, this is uh, puti. Uh, puti. Puti. You know puti? Puti. Puti. Mm. Yeah. Puti. puti. What is it? Puti. Yeah. White. white. Yeah, white. Not it, blacky. What about, what about itom? Itom. 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 Black. Blacky. Black. Black. Nabi, mana nasi mak bisaya? Di ba? You get a bisaya now. Yeah. I bisaya. Bisaya. <laughs> so yeah, he, I, Yes, exactly. So Blackie, he is from Indonesia, born and raised. But in my few weeks here in Indonesia, I noticed that a lot of their words are Bisaya. It's not even Tagalog, so it's crazy. I think because the Mendanao is really close to Indonesia. And so a lot of the words are the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. But there's different same words, different meanings. So salamat in the Philippines means thank you. Yeah. Oh salamat is Yeah, thank but you. in Indonesia you say salamat pagi yeah. or good morning yeah, yeah, yeah. or salamat siang for good afternoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, right. right salamat right. malam for good evening. Yeah, it's like a welcome. Yeah, but in Philippines you just say salamat for thank you. Oh really? Yeah, mm -hmm. salamat. Oh nice. <laughs> nice to learn. Yeah, a lot of uh, thank you, similarities, thank you. yeah? Yeah, yeah. Similarities. Similarities, yeah. Similarities. So I was pretty mind blown, especially that it was Bisaya, like Dua is two. Dua is two. Dua. And then four is empat. Empat, right. But upat in Bisaya. And then six is, what's six? Anam. Anam, but unum in Bisaya. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. And then ten, you know ten? Pulo. Sepulo, but in Bisaya it's pulo. Oh. Grabe. <laughs> Same. Same here. <laughs> Pres manta. Yeah, pres manta. Pres manta. 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 Okay. okay. So now we're going to go, earlier this morning we tried to go swim with the manta rays, but we were too late. We're gonna go try again, and if we don't find them, we're gonna try tomorrow morning. But let's hope that we find some. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, baby. Bisaya. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to day two of snorkeling and island hopping with Island Time Bali with our guide Blackie. Hey, everybody. <laughs> and Mem Nelia and Carson holding the camera. So yesterday we weren't able to see any manta rays. Um, because we had to wait for the rain to clear, which was in the afternoon. Um, but we've woken up bright and early, it's only about 7am and we are going to hit the water and fingers crossed see some manta rays. Okay, let's go! I got nothing left to lose You said you fall with me No matter how it goes Down deep and under So, how many times have you been to Menteres? Grabe ka dako, grabe ka astig. Astig man? Astig. Chada. Kapoy ka? No, it was, it was very chada. It was amazing. Um, we had the best time ever. So thank you so much Island Time for making that happen. So the cool thing about that experience was that they are not fed. This is not not a sanctuary or anything. So it's just man rays in the wild. So as soon as we saw the man rays, we had to jump in the water. Um, we had no time to really do anything, um, which yeah, I wanted to. Go, go, go! Which I wanted to show you my camera gear, my underwater housing that I just got a few months ago. Um, I wasn't able to do that because we just had to jump in the water and go catch the manta rays. Also, I had to spew. She did throw up. Oh no, that was the first day. Um, so I'm gonna go show you all the camera gear that we used. So let's go. Ow! All right, so as I said earlier, uh, we didn't really have time to explain all this new gear that I got because we had to jump in the water as soon as we saw the manta rays. But this is the underwater housing that I've been using. Um, I partnered up with Aquatech just a few months ago. Aquatech and Pelican Air, which is what I use to carry all my underwater housing. So I'm gonna show you how this underwater housing works. It's pretty simple. All you do is put your camera. I use the 12 to 24 millimeter lens because the wider the better underwater. And you slide your camera in like so. You connect this cord into the camera. That way this button works underwater. And then you just throw on the back plate. 
Make sure it's all snug. Lock it into place. Now she's waterproof. All right, so that takes care of the underwater housing, but of course you need a lens port to cover your lens so it doesn't get wet. So this is the PD-140. I'll link all the gear below in the description. Basically, this is perfect for the under, over water shots. You get half the photo under the water, half the photo above the water, and this is also what you wanna use for under the water, and this is called a wet port. All right, and this is a dry port, meaning it stays dry, or it should stay dry most of the time, because you shoot above the water. So I use this one for surf photography. Basically, if you wanna up your photography game, you're gonna want one of these because the GoPro just doesn't cut it. Um, I'm gonna put a few examples here showing you the difference between photos from this and photos from the GoPro 10 that I have. Um, and you will see the dramatic difference in the two and exactly why I decided to get one of these. Zoe will explain what she uses under the water. My turn! Okay, so when we're not using the big boy, we use the Access Go, which is a super easy and convenient uh, iPhone underwater housing, um, which we use with Carson's iPhone 12 Pro Max, but you can get different ones to fit different iPhones. So you just slap her in like that. You've got the lenses there. Um, close her up. So you hear that click, and then she's good to go. Oh no, I threw it a little bit too. All right, we've called him the big guns. <laughs> the big legs. <laughs> He's taller than me, so. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> we have to move today, so I can't get my shorts wet. Oh. Yeah, we're traveling in like an hour, so we're trying not to get. <laughs> <laughs> I like your pants. <laughs> Guys, at least it's a jacuzzi, FYI. Take, Ready to roll. Take over. I guess I'll take over. <laughs> As Zoe was saying, we love using this bad boy for, especially for waterfalls, because we don't want to hold that big camera up a mountain, you know? And this is perfect to just post on Instagram as soon as we start filming. You know, get that half underwater shot. Whee! Money. Yeah, and it's awesome because we can use it straight away for reels, like we don't have to edit. Right? Yeah, ever, ever since we got this, I think I've used my new GoPro one time because it's just so convenient. On a GoPro, you got to transfer all your footage, send it to your phone, post it on your Instagram story. There's so much work for Instagram, you know, so this I can film directly and then post it. Dayon. All right, so another cool thing about the Axis Go is that you can buy some accessories for it. Um, this is one of them. It is a shutter trigger, I believe it's called. Basically, you attach it to the Axis Go, and then you can use this button to shoot. That way, when you're getting in a huge barrel, you know, you don't have to try to push the button. I also screen. just find it way more convenient. Yeah, it's pretty convenient to just... Chip, 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 chip. Like a squirt gun, you know? Chip, chip. And it takes photos. It uses Bluetooth. There's no cords involved. So it's pretty sweet. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, 10% discount. Right there. <laughs> all right guys so that is <laughs> that is it from our manta ray experience i hope you enjoyed um and i hope you found some of that camera tips and info useful right yes so also we have some really exciting news next vlog um, yeah next vlog um oopsies i don't know how to feel um yeah next vlog coming up it's gonna be in an exciting place and we will share that with you and maybe vlog a little bit more there yeah buddy maybe adios bye ayo, ayo. Ayo, ayo, ayo. Ayo, ayo. Ayo. Yeah.